Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sec MRI. And this is a 38-year-old male with complaints of chronic right-sided hip pain, no injury, and he has a configuration of the hip which is abnormal that can lead to tears of the labrum. So this is the right hip, this is the left hip, and the main finding is the contour of his femoral head. It has an oblong configuration rather than a rounded configuration, and this can lead to what we call femoral acetabular impingement. So I'll show you what that looks like in this patient. So to get the anatomy down first, we see this bone is part of the ilium. It comes way up here to the iliac crest. Down here, it forms a cup that holds the femoral head in place. So this is the cup, the socket, and this is the femoral head, the round ball that uh, rotates inside that cup, the femur. Here's the femoral head, which is round, femoral neck, and this is the trochanteric portion of the femur. So now that we have the anatomy, we're going to look at the contour of the femoral head. And this patient has what we call cam-type femoral acetabular impingement. And you may be wondering, what the heck does that mean? Well, the cam means that instead of round, there's a bony protuberance, like a camshaft on an automobile. So on this patient, this broad area here is the cam-type deformity. So if we go back here, it's pretty round. As we march forward, we see this loss of the rounded configuration, there's a little bony protuberance or flattening over here. So instead of being a round ball, it has a bump here, the cam. When they rotate their hip outward, this bump or cam will impact into this little edge. And this pointy edge has a labrum. That little dark band is the acetabular labrum. And this cam will pinch that labrum. We call this cam type femoral acetabular impingement. So femoral this, acetabulum this and it's cam type because the bump is causing the pinching. And now we're going to go to another view to look at the same abnormal bony configuration here. So this is towards the back and this is pretty normal configuration. This is the round femoral head. It looks kind of like a tennis ball, nice and round. You can imagine if you rotated the hip outwards, the round ball would just rotate nicely within this cup. Everything looks pretty good. If we move forward, however, we see that Instead of being round, it's more broad over here, pretty subtle, but you can see it's not quite round. So you can imagine if the hip rotated out here, this bony protuberance would impact over here, causing this cam-type femoral acetabular impingement. Over here, you can see this bony protuberance. And again, it will pinch this labrum. This patient did have a chronic labral tear and even a, an old fracture out here. Now we're going to look at another view, called an axial view, to look at the same thing and see this bony protuberance towards the front. So this is an axial image. This is the front. Here's the buttock region back. Here's the outside. And we see the round femoral head here rotating within the cup, the acetabulum. And we see the back contour is nice and round and smooth and uniform. The front contour, however, is more broad. Instead of coming back to a more of a rounded contour, it stays flat for a little while. And then there's a little drop off here. So right here is that bony protuberance, kind of loss of the nice, smooth, round, uniform Look, so it's broad, flat, and a tiny bony protuberance here on the axial image. And so that's it. This is a case of, again, cam-type femoral acetabular impingement. Again, at first glance here, you can see this is not quite round. It's more oblong. This is broad. And again, if the hip were um, extended outwards, we'd see that this broad, flat thing would pinch the labrum here. And it's worth noting there's another type of femoral, femoral acetabular impingement called pincer type, and that's when the acetabulum is too large and wraps around too far, and that can also cause abnormal mechanics. But again, this is the cam type, and thank you very much.